in the name of Jesus. Wherever evil will manifest this year, none of your children will be there. The Almighty God will form a wall of fire and protection around all your children in the name of the Lord Jesus. So welcome to the 38th day of our 50 days of fasting and prayers from wherever you are watching us to pray. I pray that God will answer all these prayers in your life, in your family, especially over your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer focus today is special prayers for children, including teens, youth, and young adults. Our text will be taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 14, and it says, But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. The introduction says, Children are gifts from God. The devil is always looking for ways to destroy these good gifts. We need to pray in order to avert and destroy every evil planned from the kingdom of darkness against these treasures. We know that there are lots of social vices that are haunting our children these days on social media and in some other quarters in their schools, even in the neighborhood. So we need to keep praying for them that God will protect them and shield them from all these vices in the name of Jesus. Our first prayer point is to thank God for his blessing, the blessing of procreation and the seed that he has given to us. Let's give thanks to the almighty God and bless his name. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, our Lord. Psalm chapter 127 verse 3 says, Children are the heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Thank the Lord for releasing children to you. Thank the Lord on behalf of your children that God has given to you. He has made you fruitful to procreate according to his word. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Over the life of all your children, give thanks to God and appreciate him for giving them to you as a gift. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, thank you for your love, protection, provision for these treasures, our children, teenagers, youth, and young adults which you have given to us. Lord, thank you for your love and protection and provision upon all our children. I thank the Lord for his love and protection upon you and your children, your young ones, your teenagers, your young adults, your youth. Give thanks to the Almighty God for his love for them. Despite all the evil and the terror in our land where you are, give thanks to God that he keeps watching over them. Give thanks to God for his protection and his guidance over them. Give thanks to God for how faithful God has been to you and to your children. Thank him for watching over them when they are in school, for watching over them when they are outside playing together with their friends. Thank him for his goodness over your family and over your children. Lord, we are grateful for how you have met our needs. You have supplied all our wants. Lord, thank you for doing for us what no man can do because of our children. Be glorified, O oh God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, thank you for not allowing me to weep over any of my children. I thank the Lord on your behalf because you have not wept over your children and you will not weep over them. Give thanks to God and say, Lord, I am grateful for making my joy full over my children. You have given them to me as good gifts. And Lord, they are indeed good for my life, good for my family. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of these children, wonderful gift, good gift that you have given to us. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for not allowing us to weep over them, not allowing the counsel and the purpose of the enemies to come to pass over their lives. Say, Lord, I thank you for my children. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. Say, O oh Lord, arise and have mercy. Correct every error and forgive iniquities of my family that will trouble the destinies of my children in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Almighty God will arise in His mercy and He will forgive any iniquity, any shortcomings that may want to affect your children in the future, that may want to scatter your family, that may want to put in disarray your home. Say, Lord, let mercy prevail over judgment. 
the mercy of God will prevail for you. Anything that is wrong in your family that may be waiting in the future to affect your home, to scatter your home, to bring problems to your home, either through your children or through any of the spouses, the Almighty God will deliver you from them. The mercy of the Almighty God will exempt you from those evil consequences in the name of the Lord Jesus. The mercy of the Lord will preserve you, your family and your children. Any evil waiting in the future to haunt you, to put your family in problems, in trouble, the mercy of God will destroy them now. The mercy of God will separate them from your home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, as the Lord liveth and as his spirit liveth, I will never bury any of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says you and the children the Lord has given to you, you are for signs and wonders. And you have to be alive, ill and healthy to become a sign and a wonder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, you will not bury any of your children. You will not weep over any of your children. You will not sorrow over any of your children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this year, throughout your own lifetime, you will see your children in joy and peace. You will not weep over them. You will not mourn over them. Any agenda of the enemies of wicked people, wicked men and women to see to it that you lose your children or you lose any of your children, the Almighty God will cancel by his blood in the name of Jesus. You will not weep over your children. Your joy will be full over them. As you see them, they will bring joy to you. As you see them, they will bring glad tidings to your heart. As you see them, you will rejoice because God will answer your prayers over them. In the name of Jesus, any of your children giving you trouble now, the mercy of God will intervene over their lives and their destinies and you will see them and rejoice after now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please lift your voice and say, Father, Moses was three months old when he began to feed his parents. Release upon my children powers to make it early in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, release upon my children power to make it early in life. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 90 verse 14, Satisfy us early that we may rejoice all the days of our lives. Satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice all the days of our lives. God will satisfy you and satisfy your children early so that they will begin to take care of you early in life. In the name of Jesus, the mother of Moses as a baby was employed to take care of him and the mother was paid and taken care of also. Therefore, in the name that is above every other name, God will satisfy your children early, that in your lifetime they will take care of you, you will be healed and healthy, they will be strong also, and their life will be productive. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, let every assignment of satanic destiny reap us over my children be frustrated and fail in the name of Jesus. Every assignment of satanic destiny reap us, avesting destinies of children, destroying destinies of children. That assignment will fail over your life, fail over your children. Job chapter 5 verse 12 says that every device, every counsel of the enemy that is contrary to you shall fail. It will not come to pass over the life of all your children. Every assignment of destiny reapers, demonic wicked destiny reapers, hunting after the precious souls, wanting to hunt down the destinies of your children, they will fail. God will fight for you and your children will fulfill their destinies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, send king makers, destiny helpers to my children earlier in life in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, God will send destiny helpers to your children, king makers, people who will be connected to them to enhance their destiny, to enhance their potentials, to enhance their giftings. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Almighty God will send destiny helpers king makers to your children they will live to be great in their generation they will live to fulfill their purpose so shall it be in jesus name we pray 
Amen. Please say, Father, let the blood of Jesus speak against every power and altar of sickness working against my children in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus. Let the power in the blood of Jesus work against every power that wants to bring sicknesses and diseases into the lives of your children, that wants to afflict their body, that wants to afflict their souls. Every power of the enemy will fail. They will fail over your children. Your children will be healthy and strong, heal and healthy to fulfill their destinies. Every form of sickness, disease and infirmities, they will not hibernate in your children. Say, Father, my children will walk in divine health. They will not be hospitalized. I will not spend on them for sicknesses and diseases. So shall it be for you and your children in Jesus' name. Amen. Please lift your voice and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, no evil hand will touch my children this year. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree and we declare according to your word in Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. It says, therefore, let no man trouble me because I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. Therefore, I pray for you that no evil hand will touch your children. In the name of Jesus, no evil hand will carry them. No evil hand will be laid on them. In the name of Jesus, no evil hand will touch your children. The Almighty God will shield them. He will protect them from wicked men, from devilish men and women. God will preserve your children. Any evil hand that wants to be stretched against them will wither off, will be cut off. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please lift your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we secure and protect all our children in RCCG by the blood of Jesus. We secure the protection of all our children, the teenagers, the young adults, the singles, the matured singles. Lord, we pray for them that your mighty hand of protection will be sure over them. We secure their protection from Nigeria to all other countries. Lord, let your presence overshadow all our children and preserve them from evil. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, oh Lord, we ask as a church, raise great evangelists, pastors, apostles, prophets, and so on in the redeemed Christian church of God amongst all our children in the name of Jesus. Your children will be great upon the face of the earth. They would know the Lord. They will serve the Lord. They will walk in the supernatural. They will do miracles according to the word of the Lord, according to the purpose of the Lord for their lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, raise great pastors amongst our children, great evangelists, great apostles, prophets, teachers of the word, people that will do exploits in their generation for the kingdom of God. Your children will be in the number. Your children will fear the Lord. They will serve the Lord. They will be great in their generation. They will be used as instruments of honor upon the face of the earth. They will be used as instruments of honor in the hands of the living God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, this year, send away all forms of failure, examination failure, financial failure, academic failure, marital failure, career failure, ministerial failure from all our children in our CCG in the name of Jesus. All manner of failure, none of them will come near your children. Academic failure, be it educational, be it financial, be it marital, be it ministerial, no failure will afflict your children. The Almighty God will cause them to live, to do exploits as great men and women upon the face of the earth. In the name of Jesus, I exempt your children from failures. I exempt your children from losses. I exempt your children from calamity. In the name of Jesus, they will live well and live good to fulfill their days. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they will succeed in all areas of their lives. They will not suffer loss in any area of their lives, financially, maritally, academically. Your children will excel. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, wherever evil will manifest this year, none of our children shall be there. In the name of Jesus, 
wherever evil will manifest this year none of your children will be there the almighty god will form a wall of fire and protection around all your children and the name of the lord jesus the bible says in the book of psalm chapter 91 that he that dwells in the secret place of the most High shall abide under the shadow of the almighty your children will remain in the secret place they will abide under the shadow of the almighty he will preserve them he will keep them he will watch over them ah no arrow of the enemy no evil of the enemy will come near your children the preservation of god will be guaranteed over them in the daytime in the nighttime in school in their neighborhoods on the playing field in the market space wherever they go they are protected in jesus name we pray amen please say father according to your word in isaiah chapter 8 verse 18 I and the children you have given to me, we shall be for signs and wonders. Make that your declaration. According to God's word in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18, you and your children, you are for signs and wonders. Upon the face of the earth, your life will be a wonder and an amazement to your world. Your children will bring glory and honor to you in the name of the lord jesus god will make them great in their generation they will not be small they will not be at the background they will not be relegated in the name of jesus they will manifest in signs and in wonders in all they do they'll be outstanding to fulfill their destinies so shall it be thank you lord for answers to our prayers over all our children we know they will be great in their generation and only your purpose and counsel will come to pass in their lives. Every evil agenda will fail. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, beloved, for joining us to pray these prayers. Please do well to like this video so that others can get to watch and pray and then share with your friends and family. Let them pray these prayers for their children also. And I believe that God will speedily answer them with testimonies in your mouth in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you and have a glorious day. Amen.